Nearly seven years after leaving the Defence Force, Victoria Cross recipient Willie Apiata is going back into battle. This time, the former SAS soldier is fighting for the welfare of the men and women who leave the services, and this mission is personal. He's spoken exclusively to Mike McRoberts, who was at the launch of his new organisation, Post Transition, at the Auckland War Memorial Museum. Mike. Kia ora, yes, it says something about the pulling power of Willyapiata VC that the launch of Post Transition has attracted so much attention. Now, Post Transition is an organisation created by Willie and his partner, Jen Martin, to fill the void that so many servicemen and women feel when they leave the Defence Force. And Willie's own personal story will resonate with many. The soldier who was awarded the VC for going back for his mates is going back again. We've seen his face before, the uncompromising stare, brave, tough and unflinching. But very rarely have we heard his voice, and never before like this. I've lived it, I've experienced it, and something needs to change. I left, I have the highest award you could ever imagine that can be awarded to any serving person. And the day I walked out the gate, I got nothing. I was on my own. Willie says if that happened to him, then how does a private soldier feel who's only done six years and wants to leave? Among the things he's going into battle for now is better welfare and care for former defence personnel, particularly around the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. You can't unsee what you see. You know, the tragedy, things torn in front of you. You know, the horrors. You know, even for the incident that I was a part of, you know, I will never forget that. That'll live with me till I die. There's a saying, isn't there, what happens in country stays in country. Nothing ever stays there, Mike. It always comes home, and it comes home when here. Willie says his family gave him the stability he needed to get through, and now with partner Jen, they're hoping to help others. The way that we can get some healing and to share the story of bravery is to go out and use the platform to help other people not feel like they are on their own. So just how big is this issue of PTSD and mental health for New Zealand servicemen and women? Well, Willie and Jen say anecdotally, it's huge. I can't give you any accurate facts or figures because as yet, there is no measure. But a recent report in the UK found 50 former or serving military personnel took their own lives in 2012, more than the number killed in Afghanistan that same year. It was the scariest thing I've ever been a part of in my life. The thing I was most scared of was my mate. And that's what this is about. We never leave anyone behind. We've got to go back and help them all in one, one way or another. <laughs> Breaking in wild horses is yeah. therapy for Willie. He says you need to be calm to gain their trust. And crucially, he's hoping to gain the trust of employers to look beyond the stereotypes and give former service men and women a chance. It takes our men and women from the battlefield into business, into being purposeful people in the civilian population again. Once named New Zealand's most trusted and honoured for valour, Willie has never been comfortable in the limelight. This might be his most courageous role yet. You talk about brave. You have to be brave to hop back in front of that camera and talk to you, which I don't do, because I don't like it. But I'm putting myself out here in our family because this is so important. Well, we're joined now by Willie and Kia ora, Willie. Thank you for telling us your story and sharing that. And I know you must have so many other stories out there like it. There are so many stories out there, Mike. And, you know, stories are coming in every day from individuals that are still transitioning from the forces, uh, like myself. You know, and uh, every story that comes, I say to them, do not filter it. It is your story. You tell it as you have lived it. And, you know, and they're so important because those stories need to be shared with all our people. Because if it isn't shared, how will anyone know? So who can help you? Who can help us? You know, we're reaching out not only to the employers, to business, to the New Zealand government, 
we've already formed a wonderful relationship with the New Zealand Defence Force through the two SAR Majors of the New Zealand Defence Force, Danny Broughton and Mark Mortaboy, the Warren Officer Class 1s, and we've been working shoulder to shoulder with them to build a foundation, not a foundation, but uh, a bridge coming from our side to their side so that we meet in the middle and we create this beautiful relationship of support, of guidance and understanding of what our men and women of service need, you know, because it is lonely out here. You know, when I come, it's like stepping into the cold. You know, once your uniform comes off, you no longer hold rank. You feel like you don't hold that purpose anymore. You were somebody when you were in there. But now when you're out here, you're anonymous. You live a life in anonymity. Willie Apiata, thank you so much. It's been said when Willie Apiata speaks, the country listens, and let's hope that's true. Tom. Mike, thank you.